Uh, I would love to leave behind right-wing fundamentalists and Christian nationalists who use Jesus, whose birth we celebrate, as a prop while legislating and fighting against his actual teachings. Mm. There's a lot of right-wing brothers and sisters in this country who identify as Christian, and they care about the manger and the crucifix, and they ignore the 30 years of teaching. 33. Th well, actually, three years of teaching he did okay. in between. Uh, Jesus is um, not an ally of the Republican Party. There is no overlap between Jesus and the policies of Donald Trump. In South Carolina, they tried to have a bill this year calling for the death penalty for abortion. We're so pro-life, we'll kill you. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> That's Stephen Wright. I would kill for a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. Seeing the Pope this week <laughs> enrage yeah. these right-wing Christians so much because he acted like Jesus in blessing gay unions. Yep. Jesus is not anti-immigrant. He commands people to welcome the stranger. He never mentions abortion. The Bible never condemns abortion. We've had two generations of Christians in this country who have been groomed to believe criminalizing abortion is something to do with what Jesus talked about. Christ was a peaceful, radical, nonviolent revolutionary, never mentioned gay people. He commanded you to pay your taxes, to welcome the stranger. Individuals and nations must care for the poor and sick in Matthew 25. He who lives by the sword must die by the sword, Luke 22. There's a reason why these right-wingers never try to put the Sermon on the Mount on walls in classrooms. Thank it's God because somebody of this. read the Bible. Wow, just, <laughs> the just before Jesus' birthday, you're delivering. Listen, I'm the child of an ex nun and an ex Franciscan. Oh, wow. And if you are, if you want to criminalize abortion and put people in jail because you're so Christian when Jesus never mentioned abortion, but you support the death penalty, which Christ actually opposed, the rest of us... a lot of men wrote the books, well, you know? But if you support those things, then the rest of us aren't obliged to take your claims of Christian piety seriously anymore. And the media is to blame because the media loves a bad guy and has made the Falwells and the Robertsons pass for what Christianity is for a generation. It's time to take the Bible back from the hypocrites and thugs. Or if you